So there's no wind, very little wind, and I let the parrot sit out here for a few minutes. I just brought Ava out. I don't know how long we'll stay out here, but it feels good in the sunshine. Nemo came out and jumped off my shoulder and started chasing the pigeons. <laughs> so all the pigeons came out except for the, um, except for the Uzbeks. And then one Uzbek came out. I think it was uh, Dante. So <clears throat> there they are. But the other two Uzbeks didn't come out for at all, so so they don't know they don't they don't want to come out yet. They're all doing fine. I decided to let Nemo and Ava sit out in the sunshine for a minute. Doves are doing well. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good day. It's so nice watching them. I hope my camera's recording well. The others still haven't come out yet. But these guys are just eating all the pumpkin seeds. <laughs> yeah, we cleaned a pumpkin and threw all the seeds out there. They're eating them up. That's Roxy. Roxy, the German owl in the front, the brown one. She just hatched a baby. And next to her is Peppers. Peppers and her son, Jasper. And in the back, over there, looks like BZ Nugget. Or a river. BZ River. Oh, they were inside the they, they were inside the greenhouse. <laughs> and one of them was on top of the greenhouse sliding down. That was cute. That one was that one flew off his river. She's a big girl. Oh wait a minute. Is that a river or is that a Uzbek? That could be an Uzbek. I can't tell without my glasses. There they go. That's Sophia. <laughs> They're such a joy to watch. Oh, that is an Uzbek. Yes, that's an Uzbek that's out. So, if I'm right, that is the female Uzbek named Trish. Huh, lovely. Anyway, uh, I was worried about the cockatoos being out so they went in I was just worried it just it just you know it's one of those things they were out for maybe 10 minutes they weren't shaking Nemo Nemo was fluffed up and when he stepped on my hand his feet were cold but not like icy cold but I brought him in the sunshine feels so good out here though I mean in the Sun it definitely feels over 60 without a breeze in the direct sun. I mean, I know it's not that out here, but that's what it feels like in the direct sun without a breeze, so. Yeah, they really like those pumpkin seeds. I put out uh, some water fountains, that one and that one. And then a little bowl on the bottom. It was so cute. I wish I had my camera, but the pigeons were bathing in them. It was so cute. All of them, like four of them were on this one at one time, four or five. But my phone was upstairs. I couldn't get a video of it, but that was so cute. And so far, all the babies are doing fine. And this morning I checked. Um, uh, the other day, uh, was it a five-day-old baby we lost, which was uh, Cujo and Reese's. It was their first time. I think that what happened is they fell asleep and accidentally squished the baby. It was probably so cold, maybe they were trying to compensate. Or maybe they fell asleep. 
that happens too. If they're on their babies the wrong way. They don't they don't really know first time parents how much pressure to put on. They've got to kind of learn it. And some birds just have more natural instincts to get it right. <laughs> anyway, we can go in and see what's Oh, the butterfly bush is dying, but the arugula is still beautiful over there. Arugula can take Oh, the the waters were frozen on top, so we obviously got a freeze last night, but uh, the arugula didn't die. So the arugula, you can see, is nice, big, and fluffy. But the butterfly bush did not like that very much. And go ahead and shut this. You can look at the pretty house plants while we're walking through the house and there's Ava and Nemo <laughs> hi guys I'm gonna try and order a full spectrum lighting for them as soon as I can afford it everything is just there's been so much money out as of late because moving them all in back in here I was hoping to find homes for the lovebirds before um they came back in for the winter but I didn't find I found a home for uh for uh, Avian and Zelda, who the young man fell in love with them, they're out often, and they are, um, and they're loved so much. She's the one that bought both those two tall cages, and they are just just so happy. Avian and Zelda got one of those tall cages all to themselves, and they get attention daily, get out, and are loved, and that's exactly what I want for them. Anyway, Ava's eating an orange. And we've got their nut mix in there. And oh, Nemo came in and eating his orange. Yes, you're so beautiful. I love you. You're beautiful. I love you guys. I love you. I did find some more things to add to their mix. So I found some uh, more banana chips I forgot I had. <laughs> I buy them uh, organic at the health food store. And then I, I added all these pumpkin seeds that we dried from our pumpkin or pumpkins. And, uh, oh, and I found more pepitas or pumpkin, already popped pumpkin seeds. So their mix is looking pretty good, but I'm still, that dust you see on it is, uh, is chamomile. I added some chamomile tea leaves in here. So it's kind of dusty, but I still want to add, so these almonds in the shell are going really fast. I want to add more shelled and I want to, uh, I want to try and get a dehydrator which I'll have in another video, a dehydrator so that I can, I want to dehydrate my own uh, fruits because it's so expensive to buy dehydrated fruit. I might as well just get my own from the health food store. It's cheaper and dehydrate them myself. But dehydrators, the ones I want run like 150, 140. Actually, the one I want is like 300, but I'm not going to get that one. <laughs> Anyway, here's the guys today. Hello. Oh, there's Latifa. Latifa, any eggs she has will be replaced with fake ones. She's been laying eggs and dropping them at the bottom of the, the cage. So she is really, really wanting to lay. I know I, I should take all of the coconut shells out, but I do think that uh, just like a human woman becoming pregnant, um... When a woman is pregnant, the uh, the actual fetus can feed the mother's body while they're pregnant and can heal issues like um, the de reconstruct DNA is what they're saying and some of the scientific things I was reading when I was pregnant with mine many, many years ago. Ah, anyway, so... Not all of them are out because they are chewing and I don't know why... Dust and Shadow and Chica are down there, but they're probably just enjoying looking around. They're very, very smart, intelligent. They like to, very curious. Hello. And there's the diamond doves and the lovebirds, I think, are very happy in their new, bigger cages. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great Tuesday, Wednesday. Have a great Wednesday, guys.